right guys so we have been doing a little bit of stuff on the bike we picked up this saw for seven dollars so we can cut some firewood or whatever um it comes with a this thing comes with a uh, thing that's uh, got tools and everything and i basically put everything in a bag i didn't want it in the it was a hard shell and i think it was heavy in my opinion so i got rid of that Put a couple of stickers on the on the bike here, but uh, anyway, a couple of major things that we did. You know, for a side cover, they wanted 150 bucks for it, so I took and just had a. My dad had a couple of barrels that we used to use for uh, garden <coughs> plastic, and I just cut out a pattern and everything and made that into there and. Instead of the little knobs, you'll never lose it now. Little, little knobs, I just put some bolts through there with some wing nuts. And then I just routed Honda on there to make it look kind of cool. But it's a little hokey, but hey, it saved 150 bucks. And then uh, we wired this in, so we've got a uh, charging port now. We can actually charge stuff. Um, that one was just shot and wasn't working, wasn't getting any power to it. So we did that. We did have another problem with the damn... Uh, with the uh, kill switch, the bike died here the other day, and I took this apart real quick, and these were these little connectors underneath were loose, so I tightened them up, and it took right off. So I went and bought some blue Loctite, and I took them little connectors off, and I Loctited them in there real good and tightened them up good. If it happens again, we're going to bypass the switch. We're just going to bypass it and get rid of it, and uh, that's kind of the plan on that because I don't want to deal with that we did make a nice little i put some velcro on my phone and uh some velcro on here so i can just stick my phone on there and i've got again it's i had velcro laying around instead of a 50 dollars phone holder you know i put that on there and it don't cost me nothing just trying to uh save a nickel everywhere i possibly can um so anyway that's that we have ordered new brake pads for the whole thing which that way we can put them on wherever we want to but still runs uh still runs like a dream and i think this is working now yep that comes on and getting about 36 miles to the gallon maybe 38 um if i take it easy not as good a gas mileage as i would i would hope for but i guess that's the way it goes we did order a new tire we got a new tire coming in and should be here soon and i got a buddy that said he would uh he's got the equipment and stuff he'll change it out so we'll get a brand new tire on this before we take off i was gonna wait but it's it is getting bad so i guess it's uh we may as well do that um other than that that is about uh it oh we did take and get some uh um uh, dot four and we've top these off on the uh, hydraulic brake clutch and the front brake that my uh, master cylinder in there that was full there was no problem there but I wanted to have some dot four fluid because if I change the brakes out and everything I want to bleed a little bit and make sure they're uh, in good shape um, other than that um, I guess that's kind of where we're at yeah I did I did dump this uh, I did tip this thing over the other day um, when I was when it quit on me because I, I was in a little bit of a bad spot and uh, I, let, I was able to lift it up but I think I bent this a little bit um, by the little crash bar thing there but eh, well it is what it is it uh, it won't be the last skirmish on this thing so uh, but these highway pegs are really really nice to have I'm glad I got those um, they came with the bike but uh, yeah it's so far, so good. So that's where we're at on that. I ended up getting by picking this up for seven bucks. It's a little cutting mat, and it can fold up really nice to put, uh, you know, our stuff in uh, uh, for cutting and to be able to cook on the on the road and everything. And we got these little lighters and stuff. A couple of brand new ones to light the stoves and stuff and a campfire that kind of thing. And we got these at a clearance for a dollar a piece, so that was really nice at Walmart. And let's see here what else we picked up some uh, picked up some um, paracord, so we've got that for the trip. Um, as I told you, we've got uh, we got all new brakes for. The, God darn it! I didn't know I had that one open. 
we got all new brakes for the bike. Uh, front and back brakes are all the same pretty much. Um, but anyway, we've got all those. We got these for I think twelve dollars, three sets. So next, maybe even tomorrow morning, maybe I'll put them all on. We got the tire. I just have to schedule to with the guy to put it on or whatever and get it off there and, and run it over and have him put it on. Um, I uh, I was gonna order some uh, some little fork uh, spoons or whatever. They were only like twelve dollars for for a set. And I was going to try and do it myself. I may. I don't know. You know, I don't like to rely on anybody if I don't have to. But if he'll do it, we'll run it over and have him put it on for me. And uh, so that that makes that. And then we got a brand new tire. We got all new brakes. We're in good shape there. Um, yeah, so far so good. Everything's uh, working fine on the bike, and we've been riding it a lot. So. Um, we've had no trouble. I don't even monkey with the kill switch. I leave it right on the on position. I leave my cruise control on, which William told me to do, so I did that. And I just don't touch anything and, and go that way. I at least know if that happens, it probably, you know, I know how to kind of fix it. Other than that, um, everything's been good. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing fine uh, there. Um, one thing I wanted to reach out and let you guys know that you guys are going to either make or break this trip. So... I need you uh, to subscribe to the channel, please, and uh, leave a comment. Um, hit the like button if you do like the content. Uh, Brenton's going to come down and, I think, uh, ride with a couple of weeks with me or maybe more um, for a little bit. So that'll be fun with his bike. Um, we'll do some collaborations on some videos. It should be a lot of fun. I do have a GoFundMe little thing for you want to donate some money the best way to do it is just donate through PayPal or through my Venmo I'll put those in the link below um, if you like the project and you like this trip and everything um, and again it's you guys is gonna keep me keep me going on it um, you know you know I'm saving I mean I'm rice and beans bice, uh, beans and rice you know and I'm praying like hell the old Bangkok bagger can can handle it and uh, take me on this uh, adventure. Um, uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's all in the hands of that, and it's in the hands of you guys. If you like the uh, stuff, and we can get these, uh, you know, my uh, subscriptions up, back up a little bit more, we can pull a little bit of money off YouTube, which will help with the trip. I mean, I'm leaving with a, you know, a decent little chunk of money, but it never goes as far as it should. Um, I'll end up going down to the farm and working when I'm making some money there, of course, for the three weeks, three and a half weeks, whatever it is there, driving the tractor. Um, so, yeah, it's basically, uh, it's you guys out there, and I do appreciate all, all that's been with me for so long. Um, it should be fun. It should be a really cool trip out to New York, up in the up, upstate New York a little bit and stuff, and then uh, down to... Uh, basically Philadelphia and then uh, you know hit the farm and uh, put some stuff and then work our way down to see my son and then work our way down into Florida and see some people and uh, um, there's some different things I want to see and we'll swing over and probably see William over in Florida when he's down there and uh, it is what it is you know I picked up a really nice tent I picked up a Eureka um, Apex 2 tent really nice tent brand new and I got that for 50 bucks so uh, yeah, I think it was listed for 130 bucks. So I got a really good screaming deal on that, which I've been waiting. So I've got that now. That's with me. Um, I think I'm going to order a piece of foam that I can roll up. I, you know, the mattresses and all those, those blow-up mattresses, those seem to always go to hell. So I don't care for that. I'd rather go a piece of foam, kind of like old Scooter Tramp Scotty there does. Just a nice roll it up and uh, put it in a little uh, dry bag or something and whatever. And, and, you know, it never can go flat. And if it gets old, you just discard it. I think it's $26 for the piece I need basically for, you know, 72 inches by, I don't know, 36 inches, something like that. And that would work out perfect. Got my sleeping bag. Really, I don't have a lot of stuff that I have to put together. I've got everything. I've got lists upon lists upon lists upon lists. And we're out of here in a month. Um, but we've got lists upon lists of just all the different stuff that we need. And uh, checking it all off, um, I think I'm going to run out and do one night uh, camp out with the bike here probably in the next day or two, and I'll, I'll do a video of that. Just go out and test things out, test the tent, test the sleeping bag, test a little cook thing, build a bonfire. I got that nice little saw for 7 bucks where I can cut firewood and stuff because I do plan on having uh, some bonfires or fires, whatever, uh, throughout the course of the uh, the trip. I mean, that to me, it's that's I have to do that. I just love that. 
Um, so that is where we're at. We will keep you informed here. Uh, maybe when I change the brakes out and do the tire and everything, I'll do a video on it. It's no big deal. There's a ton and million of them on YouTube. It's no big deal, but uh, um, but we can you know we can do that or whatever too. But uh, stay tuned. We'll get another one up here of that little camping trip. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to, for the comment. Uh, thanks Brenton for the shout outs and stuff on the channel. If you like his channel, and you like my channel. Um, you know, great. Go to his. You'll love his. If you, you like his, you'll like mine. And, uh, you know, appreciate all you guys. Peace out. We'll see you guys in the next one.